What's up, party people? How you doing out there? Happy Wednesday, and welcome to another episode of Cooking with Cocktails, episode two. Today on the menu, we are gonna have stuffed bell peppers, baked potatoes, and broccoli, and then our cocktail is going to be Earl Grey infused old fashioned, and the mocktail will be a peach Earl Grey tea. Yeah. So if you're interested in making some stuffed bell peppers and seeing how I make this Earl Grey infused old fashioned and this peach Earl Grey tea, stick around. Hey y'all, how you doing? Happy Wednesday. It is episode two of Cooking with Cocktails. So today's dinner is gonna be stuffed bell peppers and I probably should fix something to go on the side too, huh? We're gonna have some broccoli and hmm, should we do some potatoes? Did we just have, we just had potatoes the other day, but we didn't have baked potatoes. I think baked potatoes would go good. So we're gonna do some baked potatoes and we're gonna do those in the air fryer. So I should probably go ahead and get those started and we're gonna do all four colors we have green orange yellow and red for the bell peppers we're gonna make the mixture together and for the cocktail we are going to have earl gray infused old-fashioned and the mocktail is a peach earl gray mocktail so we're gonna make our own simple syrup and you could actually, for the mocktail, you could use like tonic water or plain um, club soda or, you know, whatever. But I'm going to use some peach uh, flavored water that has bubbles because I think that that's going to taste nice. Taste good? Taste nice? What? Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So two tea bags, two cups of sugar, two cups of water. I'm going to go ahead and get that going so that we can go ahead and get this boiled and start to cool down because you don't want to use hot simple syrup when you're making your cocktail i should have probably made this last night but i didn't so we're gonna do it today and then while this water boils and with the sugar while we're making the simple syrup we're gonna go ahead and start on our peppers we're gonna cut the tops off take the seeds out rinse them really good and put them in water because you want to blanch them so that they can get soft because you don't want to try to cook peppers raw just straight out you know in the oven because they're going to probably taste kind of you know a little too earthy so we're going to go ahead and get these prepared while the water boils for the simple syrup and we're also going to go ahead and get the um rice on because you need a cup of rice so go ahead and start your rice one cup of rice i'm using boil the boil bag quick and easy um so you'll need a cup of rice get your peppers and you know so we can blanch those but go ahead and start on your simple syrup again two tea bags or two teaspoons of whatever kind of tea you choose and two cups of sugar two cups of water that's your simple syrup all right, let's get to cooking. Pro tip, we put coconut oil in the pan with the rice. Not much, just about that much. So the rice is cooking. The water is just about ready for these uh, peppers. So I'm just gonna go ahead and <clears throat> cut the tops off and get the seeds out. I'm always so tempted to save seeds <laughs> and I have like tons of pepper seeds. Like I don't need any more pepper seeds. Even though I'm gonna do these in half, um, I'm still gonna cook them whole, but I'm gonna cut them down the middle when I get ready to stuff them because we never eat a full pepper. We always eat the half. I'm gonna go ahead and get the seeds out and then I'm gonna rinse the innards out. So right now I'm just taking the insides out of the peppers. And after I do this, I'm gonna cut up onions and garlic for the uh, meat. And I am doing a vegetarian version as well as a regular version. I'm using ground turkey for my husband's and I'm using the um, 
Gardein. Now I really could have used just um, like a bunch of rice and vegetables, but sometimes I actually want like uh, more of a meaty texture. So that's why I decided to go with the, um, the Gardein. So I'm gonna rinse these out and then I'm gonna take them to the pot and put them in. So the peppers are nice and rinsed on the inside no seeds i'm going to drop these in the pot so they can blanch and it'll, it'll probably be like about five to seven minutes now let's go ahead and cut up the onions and the garlic and we're just going to make the cocktail after we finish all the prep okay this onion is not the greatest wasn't i just talking about onions and how bad they were from the store like this one is like ugh, this onion i have wasted half of this onion because it's like, it's no good. Look at that. This produce is horrible, man, horrible. All right, let's go get another onion, all right? All right, let's try this again. Let's see how this one is. They all came out the same bag. Well, this one is a lot better. I forgot to put my towel under here to keep my cutting board steady. Yeah, this one is much better. Still need to peel this outside layer off though because it's not the greatest. But it's better than what the other one was. So I'll take it. I will take it. Told y'all I don't like them little onion skins though. If it's there, I don't want to be able to see it. Look at that. Disgusting. All right, so let me rinse the knife. The Kanifi. You don't have to do like super big pieces of onion because it's all going to go in the meat anyway. And you're going to um, cook the onions. You're going to cook the garlic. You're going to cook everything that goes inside your bell peppers. If you've never made them before, very simple, very old, old meal. One of those meals that the ancestors used to probably cook. I'm just kidding, I don't know who used to cook it. I just know that I enjoyed it growing up and it's a very easy meal to make. This is one that you could make, like I'm about to have a total of I think eight peppers because I'm cooking, yeah, I'm cooking four peppers but I'm gonna half them. It's still a good meal prep type of food because it stretches and it's something that you can cook easily and my eyes are about to water i'm not crying you are um it's one of those meals that when you cook it you can put it um into separate containers and let it stretch for you now what i need to do is probably do some more onion because i'm having to make two separate um cook two separate pans because i'm gonna do the the meat substitute for moi and i'm gonna do the real thing for him so what i'm gonna do is just go ahead and divide things as i go that way i can just put his in a pan put mine in a pan and cook them both at the same time let's go check on that rice because it's been just about 10 minutes and we don't want it to be crunchy but we don't want it to be mushy because it's going in the oven oh man we gotta go get the potatoes because the potatoes need to start cooking should we just go ahead and cut the ginger why am i saying ginger should we go ahead and cut the garlic i think so let's get the rice first though we all over the place aren't we oh you mean me oh okay cool And I'm gonna go ahead and put the rice in a bowl. All right, can y'all still see? So we, we have our onions and then I'm gonna cut the garlic up next. But first I'm gonna put this rice in a bowl. <coughs> this is about to be hot. <gasps> oh, I'm so glad that didn't get on me. 
that would have been hot. I don't need to burn myself. I'm always burning myself as it is. All right, we're going to go ahead and just let the rice hang out in this bowl. Have y'all ever made cilantro lime rice? I have made it one time. And I had a little too much cilantro in it. But I think I want to try to make that again. I can do <laughs> hard recipes, but sometimes easy recipes, I will jack them up. Potatoes are not as big as I thought they were. So I can actually hold off on getting these in the um, air fryer because it's not going to take them as long. So we're going to go ahead and cut up our garlic. I was about to say ginger again. Um, we're going to go ahead and cut up our garlic. And then we're going to pull out the rest of the seasonings that we'll need for our filling for the peppers. Um, and after I do this, let me see, what are we going to do first? Are we going to put out the seasonings first? No, we're going to take the peppers off of the, um, take the peppers out of the water. And we're going to go ahead and sit them in the pan that we're going to actually cook them in. I have not turned the oven on yet because I'm over here having a personal summer and um, it ain't nothing nice right now so I don't really want to add additional heat to the heat that I'm already carrying personally so yeah so I, I should probably preheat the oven but sis can't do it yet I, I need to turn that on when it's almost time for the peppers to go in Whew. But I do it all for you and you and you. Mm-hmm. All right. Let's wash our hands and get some of this um, stickiness off from the garlic. All right. Y'all, I was thinking, this has nothing to do with what we're cooking today, but I was thinking... That's a dangerous thing sometimes when people be thinking, I'm gonna rinse this knife off too, cause I need to cut the peppers in half. So I'm gonna go grab the peppers. All right, this battery, ooh, this battery is about to die already. Jesus, these peppers are hot. So I need to, um, I'm gonna change my battery and then I'm gonna come back and say everything else I had to say. Okay, so what I was going to say um, before the battery decided to run out was I've been thinking I want to try um, an arch in my garden. See, I'm just going to cut them in half. I need to spray that pan. Y'all, I'm so discombobulated right now, but the food is going to be cooked and it's going to be good. I promise you that. So I'm just going to spray the pan with some um, olive oil and get that water out. So I just sprayed the bottom with some olive oil. And what I was getting ready to say was, um, I think I want a trellis, not a trellis, an arch in um, the garden. Oh my God, this pepper is so hot. And I want it over where the watermelon and strawberries are because I want to vine the um, the berries, you know, when they start to hang, I wanna like push them through so they can hang through. And then I also wanna do like for the watermelons when they start to grow, I really want those to like really hang and look really pretty as they, you know, start to grow and get some size. And see these peppers are small which is perfect because um if you don't like eat stuffed peppers like talking about it the pepper isn't huge so it's enough for one to handle and i am making four for him four halves for him four halves for me and look how pretty that is so pretty all right, so we're just going to let those sit. And the next thing we're going to do is 
what are we gonna do? We're gonna prepare the potatoes for the air fryer. I'm gonna rinse the potatoes off and I'm just gonna prep them right here because, and I'll bring the, the, um, the tray over here for the air fryer so that y'all can see how I do my baked potatoes in the air fryer. Really simple, I rinse them, I puncture a few holes, I put olive oil on them, some, um, some really nice coarse salt, and then I put them in the air fryer. Who is calling me? I'm gonna take these potatoes, I'm going to just puncture, puncture, what? Puncture a few holes in them. These are Yukon Gold, they was on sale. I prefer these over the regular potatoes anyway because they kind of buttery to me. I'm going to add butter to it. So I'm going to use, take take your potatoes, punch some holes in it. Just a few because it's going to help your potato cook faster because I like the crispy skin. All right, so the potatoes are now punctured. Now I'm about to spray the oil on them and then I'm going to add some salt. But before I do that, let me line my, get my pan out. Cause I don't want oil on my cutting board. All right, this is the, now if your texture weird, don't do this. Cause you got to have the oil. You have to feel the oil in your hand. Puncture your holes, oil your potato up. And then if you can have salt, cause I know everybody can't have salt, then take your salt and um, put it on top of the potatoes. All right, now you take your salt and put it on your potatoes. And yes, you need to flip your potatoes and put it on both sides. If you like your skin crunchy, then make sure that you're putting salt and oil on the entire potato because that this stuff, some about the salt and the oil and that heat from the air fryer, it just makes the whole potato just wonderfully delicious. Not magically delicious, but wonderfully delicious. The recipe calls for Angostura bitters, but I forgot I have orange bitters. So I'm gonna use, since I'm gonna put, no I'm not, I just thought about something. Scratch that. So here's my thought. My thought was to add the orange bitters since I was gonna shave some, um, do some orange zest, but I feel like the orange bitters is going to take over the taste of the earl grey tea i think it's going to be too many flavors mixing so we're just going to stick to the bourbon and this is a black owned bourbon i showed y'all this before when i had my um whiskey and cigar this is um bro brothers or brow brothers i don't know how you pronounce their last name but this is their whiskey and um it's really good it's a nice sipper so i'm gonna use that oh lord so I'm gonna use that to make the drink. All right, this is gonna be so easy and so simple. So we're gonna go for, I need to get a zester. We're gonna go ahead and put in two ounces of bourbon. This is a strong drink for a weeknight. It's a school night and I'm having a cocktail and we're gonna stir, we're not shaking. So we're gonna put in the two ounces of bourbon. Then we're gonna go in with the, it says half ounce of the simple syrup, but I'm gonna go ahead and go with um, an ounce. I'm gonna do a full ounce. Cause I feel like that's gonna be kind of strong and I really don't want a strong cocktail tonight. And then we're gonna do our two dashes of Angostura bitters. And if you've never used bitters before, child, be careful. Because look, I just made a mess already. And it stains. If you've never used it, it stains. I don't know if you can see that or not. And we're still doing good on time. It's 626. It's not going to take the food long. All right. So here's our cocktail. Now let's try it and see what it's giving with our Earl Grey infused old-fashioned it smells amazing wow so I should should have stuck to the half half ounce of simple syrup because this baby is so sweet 
but it's good i'm not a it's let me slow down it won't be sweet for people who like um sweet cocktails and you would probably want more simple syrup but because i don't typically do sweet cocktails i can have them like just the right amount of sugar this one is just tipping over the scale just a little bit so i'm gonna let that sit there and chill and now let's go ahead and make our mocktail which is super easy and it is a half ounce one and a half ounces of the simple syrup juice from one half lemon and six ounces of water so we're going to use this peach um peach water peach water beverage we need to get a lemon i'm not going to use um lemon or am i am i going to use lemon i'm going to use lemon i stay somewhere always trying to change up a recipe I was thinking about adding that um, other half of that orange in. But we need lemon. We need the simple syrup. We need the water and ice. Right, we're just going to use this ice. Why? 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 Why, dog? And for this one, we're going to need to use all of this ice. All right, here we go. We're going to add our ice cube. Mm. We're going to add our ice cubes. I need to fix that, adjust that camera because I'm cutting my head off. It's, and then we're going to go in with one and a half ounces of... Uh, simple syrup i need to get another um measuring cup because the jigger has um whiskey on it and i'm not mixing that what did i just say one and a half ounces all right so we're gonna go in with one and a half ounces of simple syrup this is just another jigger And a half ounces and we're gonna do juice from half of this lemon and the reason I'm doing this is because it's not gonna take long for um it's not gonna take long at all for our um peppers and then we're gonna top it off with this peach water that angle is really bothering me Oh, you know what? I moved the camera. That's why. And since all we did was cut the lemon with the knife, we're going to go ahead and stir it on up. Stir it up. Little darling, stir it up. I wish I could get that seed out. Let's taste our Earl Grey mocktail. Ooh, that's good. Oh my. The peach, the lemon, the Earl Grey tea. Oh gosh, that's good. This one is a winner. Now let's go ahead and taste this one more time. And I know that, that the recipe didn't call for lemon. But I'm going to add just a squeeze of lemon to cut some of that um, cut some of that sugar. And I just got a seed in there. Get my knife back out. Y'all don't be like me. Don't put seeds in your drinks. Alright. Let's taste it one more time much better much better now we're gonna clean up and then we're gonna get to cooking our mix to go inside our peppers all right now it's time to get down to business and i had a grand idea while i was cleaning up mm, 
Cheers to y'all for hanging in there with me. Here was my grand idea. So, <clears throat> ooh, that one got me a little bit. So I had um, like a quarter of peppers in the refrigerator, red, yellow, and orange left over. And they were, it's, I needed to cook them before they go bad. So I decided to dice them up and I'm gonna add it to my filling. So I'm turning my burner on, letting it get warmed up, and I need to get some avocado oil to cook this. My What? What is my eye burning? Oh, a little bit of oil was on the eye from the last time I cooked. So I'm gonna let that burn off. So while that eye burns off the oil, we're gonna add a little bit of olive, I mean, avocado oil to each pan. And the seasonings are really minimal. Um, I wish I could zoom in some, but I can't. So, oh, and I have to, probably need to set up my phone so that I can girl oh that was all oh! so clearly okay all right oh you know what yeah we can do it like that so this eye is really smaller than the other one so it's not really made for two big pans but it is what it is. I'm gonna sit my phone right here so y'all are gonna actually see my phone over here because I am going to show myself cooking. That way I can do like a quick little reel at the same time. So let's get to it. All right, so right now we are making the filling for our bell peppers. Now let's turn these burners down and get to cooking. So right now we're gonna go ahead and add in our onions and garlic. And the reason I have two pans is because I'm making two different versions. I'm making a vegetarian version version for me, as y'all know, and I'm making regular um, turkey for my husband, so that's why we have two pans. And here we have onions and garlic. And now I am going to add to this onions and garlic some mixed peppers, just diced. Not a lot, but just, um, I didn't want these peppers to go bad. So I figured, you know what? I'm using peppers for the meal, so why not add some bell peppers to the mixture? And for my friends over on TikTok and, you, and Facebook, I actually boil, I blanch the peppers and then I cut them in half because we never eat the actual whole pepper. We prefer them cut in half. So I'll show y'all that too. And I can turn my fire back up some. Then to this, we're gonna add some uh, fire roasted tomatoes. And I drain the juice off of them. And I done poured almost a whole can in mine which is fine because I prefer more tomatoes than him. All right, to mine, I'm gonna add this these kale flakes because I really like these. I'm not gonna put any in his because he ain't all that enthused by these, but I really like them. These little burners get really hot. All right, now we're going to add in, I'm gonna make a well in the center so that I can add the meat for his. And mine, I'm gonna do the same. All right. So I'm using ground turkey for his. And I'm not gonna 
use this whole thing. I'm only using half of it and I'm going to freeze the rest. because we only have four peppers that it needs to go in. So we have our ground turkey here. And we're gonna season this. And now we're gonna put in some plant-based crumbles in mine. And I need all the protein I can get, so I'm adding like an additional amount. This is 23 grams of protein per serving, so. I'm gonna break that up and get to seasoning. All right, so we're using some oregano. Basil. Paprika. Uh, and my favorite, onion powder and garlic powder. Cause why? They go with everything. I'm gonna add a little bit more to that. Adding some cracked black pepper. What is wrong with my heat? Why does my heat keep going out? All right, so I'm gonna add in now some tomato, some tomato, some tomato basil pasta sauce, just to give it a little bit more flavor. Not so much like a spaghetti flavor, but just to you know, zhuzh it up a little bit. Probably need to add some more to his. Yeah. Yeah, this one, the meat substitute has the perfect amount. But I'm gonna add a little bit more to his. And after this, we're gonna move back over to our other location and add the rice to it and stuff the peppers. All right. So next we're gonna add, that's a bad angle for that. We're gonna add some of the rice to the mixture. And this is way more than what's needed for these stuffed peppers. I can tell by looking at it. So I'm going to be able to have some of this later. Like, I wonder if I can freeze this. I probably, I can because you can freeze spaghetti sauce. So I know I should be able to freeze this once it cools down. Because I don't like to put stuff in the refrigerator and freezer while it's hot. I don't like doing that. Let's taste this. That's good. All right. So we're just gonna scoop into the peppers. And the way I'll know the difference is mine will have cheese on them and his will not. And sometimes I actually take, well, I used to take the filling and just lay it in the bottom of the pan. But since I stopped eating meat, I don't do that anymore. I could have cooked them in two separate dishes. But then that would lead to more dishes to clean. Nah. So we could either freeze the rest or just, you know, have it as it is. Almost like a goulash. Why did I say that hard? Goulash. All right, so that, his is done. Now let me stuff mine. Put some cheese on it. Throw some cheese on it. And the potatoes are now done. 
love me an air fryer potato all right so that's good yeah buddy mm-hmm Woo, what you say what you say stuffed peppers for him stuffed peppers for me and i'm gonna throw these in the oven and i'll see y'all once it's done okay so the peppers are done and it's hot and my other light just died so we're gonna have to get 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 this thing going but here are the peppers you see mine with the cheese you see his and i ended up fixing instead of broccoli i did like the california mix and we have baked potatoes we have extra rice just in case my husband wants some because y'all know i told y'all he loves rice and we made some cornbread well cornbread was actually from monday so we got some cornbread so we have stuffed peppers california blend extra rice cornbread baked potatoes and that is this evening's cooking with cocktails i hope you enjoyed it i hope you cooked along with me or plan to cook this this meal let me know if you do and i will see you guys on the next video love peace and blessings Mwah. from my heart and my kitchen to yours i love you guys have a wonderful wonderful week